you go through that pick and what, what, what you saw and how it uh, I mean, Coach Clancy caught a, a great play. And I just played my technique that Coach Byron's been teaching us throughout the whole spring and the fall, man. And I knew that uh, 84 was the top target for them coming into the game. So I figured they would go, go, go to him on that play, and I just was being prepared. And I just made a, I made a good play on the ball. Talking about the defensive potential you all brought tonight with you, OG, and the rest of the guys. I mean, uh, we all just wanted to come out here and play hard and just play for each other at the end of the day, because that's all it's about. We play for each other. We play our game. We feel like nobody can play with us. So. We just we just came out here, stuck to the game plan, and we just made the plays that that uh, that that was presented to us tonight. So now have you all been growing as leaders? Can okay, you repeat that? I said, how have you all been growing as leaders? I'm sorry, okay. How have you all been growing as leaders? I mean, we're a young core, so we just try to hold each other accountable day in and day out, and just bring our best best work every day. We come to work. Uh, ask the questions we need to ask in the meeting rooms and just look out for each other at the end of the day because that's all it's about. It's a brotherhood here at SC. How tough was it just these are so many great receivers on this team and every day in practice had to be a super challenge for all of you guys. How tough was it to maintain your confidence when you work against guys like that every day? I mean, when you work against guys like Tyler Vons, Michael Pittman, Devin Williams, Amara, day in and day out, you know, you get tested every day, so you got to stay on your toes every day, and, you know, uh, big shout out to them, because they, they get us better day in and day out, and going against great receiver core like uh, Stafford has, you know, you got to play uh, play confident and just stay ready, because you don't know when they go, uh, go deep or, you know, take their shots, so uh, the guys that we go against every day prepared us for those moments, and we, we came to play tonight. I'm proud of the guys. the uh, locker room at halftime? Can you repeat that? What was the mood of the team at halftime? Uh, we, we knew, uh, we had them, and we just wanted to keep that intensity up and just keep going and just play for each other, continue to play for each other, and just finish finish what we start. That's our motto, finish what we start. So that's, that was the plan, and we, we executed well in the second half. Any changes Any changes made defensively for you guys? Or? I mean, not, not necessarily. We just stuck to the game plan that uh, Coach Clancy had for us, and he kept dialing it up, and we just, just kept it going. How much of a lift did you get when you got that, when you stopped them for the field like, uh, after you fumbled the kickoff? And if I think scored there, it would have been 21 to 3, Joe. Help them to a field goal. How much of a lift was that for you guys? I mean, uh, our, that's our goal, just to hold them to get a 3 or 0 at the end of the day. So we just played hard when, uh, when our back was against the wall, and we, we uh, they, they missed two field goals. And, you know, we just we just capitalized off that and just kept the momentum going. And watch from the sidelines. How good your quarterback? He's great, man. He stepped up well tonight with uh, JT down, and I told him before the game, man, just go out there and have fun and play your game, man, and just whatever happens out there, just forget it. We got you. We're supporting you throughout this whole thing. So, you know, c congrats to him, and he did his thing tonight, man. We're just looking forward to next week against BYU and just preparing for them. Were you amazed at all watching some of his throws, watching how cool he was? I mean, he makes those throws in practice, so, I mean, I wasn't amazed, but I, I knew I, I knew he could do it. So. He proved everybody. To, he proved to everybody tonight that he could do it. So, thank you. How close were you to coming down with that other interception? Man, I could have <laughs> had it, man. But you know, missed opportunity. Bit of sorry. I made up for it later on in the game. And looking forward to uh, many months. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> looking forward to more opportunities like that in the future. So, did the wide receiver get a hand on it, or I just was stumbling and it just hit my hands and dropped it. I, dro I dropped the money, man. <laughs> <laughs> they run. They run so much stuff, and they have a power running game, and they also have top. Big receiving. Mm -hmm. How difficult was it to, once you got on the field, how much more difficult was it than it looked like it was going to be on the field? Um, <clears throat> for me personally, I, uh, I went against those guys before, like like Kobe Parkinson. I went against him in the Army Bowl, so I, I was familiar with his game. And, you know, um, it was a tough challenge, though. Don't get me wrong, it was a tough challenge going against Osiris. Um, uh, Connor and everybody on that uh, on that uh, in the receiving court. It was a tough challenge, but we, we held our own tonight and we just made the plays that uh, that was presented to us. It looked like as the game went on, the secondary got much more comfortable. You knew where you were supposed to be. You were you know able to play the ball and all that. What? How did that happen? How did that develop through the game? Um, I guess. We just we just stuck to the game plan and stay focused and just we made sure everybody was still in tune in the game and just made sure we kept that high level intensity uh, each down each series and you know things started to uh, to work out for us and we just continued to capitalize when when our opportunities were there. You looked like you you were able to locate the ball better as the game went on. You got really into the kind of flow, I think. Yeah, well, I mean we just played our technique that Coach Byron's been uh, teaching us day in and day out, man. And it's paid off for us uh, well, so we just. 
looking forward to keep working day in and day out and just when those opportunities present themselves in the future in the future we go um, and most definitely capitalize what did you think i mean it felt honestly it felt unreal i ain't gonna lie it's my first career interception man it felt unreal i just thank god for that opportunity man and and, and hopefully i get the, uh, those opportunities present themselves more man and I'm gonna just keep working day in, a day in and day out, and uh, keep trusting the process, trusting the grind, trusting my teammates, man, and just keep working every day. That's all I can do. What's right. been your self-assessment of the first few games of your play, personally? Uh, me personally, I know I, I still got some stuff to work on, you know. Uh, I'm gonna just continue to just keep working, man. That's all I can do. Just continue to get better day in and day out. That's all.